Hello everybody and welcome to Technology Lair. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure VMware Hypervisor ESXi on your VMware workstation. So these are the prerequisites which you need for the installation. You need to have a VMware ESXi ISO, a VMware client, a 64-bit 2-core CPU, 4 GB of RAM available on your system and a VMware workstation. So this is the address from where you can get the VMware vSphere hypervisor ESXi and this is the page from where you can download the VMware workstation. So first you need to download and install the VMware workstation. Just follow the on-screen instructions for downloading the VMware workstation. Once you are done, we are ready to proceed with the next step. So I have already downloaded the VMware Hypervisor ESXi ISO as well as the VMware client. So what I'll start the VMware workstation. So once you have opened the VMware workstation, just go to file and click on new virtual machine. Leave this checkbox as it is and click on next. Select the disk image, the ISO which you have downloaded. Go to the path where you have downloaded this. ISO of hypervisor ESXi and select the ISO file. Click on open and click on next. You can give whatever name you want. I'll leave this as it is. And this is the location where your installation files will be there. It will be installed on this location. I'll leave this as it is. If you want to change, you can change this path. Click next. This is the size of hard disk you want to allocate from your hard disk to the virtual machine. So I leave this as it is default and you can check the first option or the second option. I recommend that you select the second option which is split virtual disk into multiple files and click next and click on finish. So. Once you click finish, it will start the installation. So I'll minim maximize this. So select the first option and click enter. So this will start loading your ESXi installer. So we'll wait till the process is complete. So now just follow the on-screen instructions, click enter to continue, press F1 to accept the license agreement, F11 sorry. Plus press enter to continue, choose your keyboard layout. It's default US English. Assign a root password. Press enter. Now once everything is done, you need to press F11 to install. So let's wait till the installation process is completed. So we have successfully installed the <coughs> VMware ESXi. Now press enter to reboot. We'll wait for some time till our server restarts. So once our ESXi is restarted, you'll need to have some tools to manage this virtual machine, this ESXi. So you can look, you can go to this address, 
in my browser I'll, I'm gonna type this so this is the address of the VMware ESXi so once you open this sorry it's 133 so it will show you an error just go to advance and proceed so it is the getting getting started page here what you need to do is download a vSphere client from here I've already downloaded this I download that client and install it so I have already the executable the application file just install this and you'll get a logo you'll get a desktop icon just double click on this and type the IP address the username and the password which you have set up earlier so give you a certificate error just ignore this so here your VMware vSphere client is installed so here is your ESXi this is the IP address of your ESXi so now we're gonna create a virtual machine on this ESXi so you can create multiple virtual machines I'll show you the basic installation just right click on this and click on create new virtual machine so leave this as it is click on next I'll show you how to install Ubuntu so just give it a name click next that's the <coughs> space which we have given earlier while creating the ESXi through the VMware work workstation so just leave it as it is click next select this type of operating system if you are installing a windows server or an windows xp or windows 7 or windows 8 you can select the windows platform i'll select linux and from the drop down i'll select the ubuntu 64 bit click next click next this is the size of the hard disk which you want to allocate for this installation we, am ha we are having a 31 GB available so we we'll leave this 16 GB as it is and click on finish so here you can see our virtual machine is created now what you need to do is just start this virtual machine here you can see that it is started and what you need to do is just right click on this and open console so it will look for the ISO or something the installation media so as it is having nothing what you need to do is just click on this CD icon CD drive and connect to ISO if you are having and CD you can enter the CD and select the drive I am having an ISO file so go to the path of the ISO and select the ISO so once you have entered the ISO you will get the installation so in this way you install an ESXi hypervisor VMware hypervisor ESXi and you configure a virtual machine onto it now what you need to do is just create a new virtual machine select the ISO and follow the on-screen instruction to install whatever operating system you want to install you can install Windows, Red Hat, Ubuntu, Fedora, any operating system so i hope this finishes the installation and i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing if you really like the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video if you are having any errors in your installation if you are ha having having any doubts 
please feel free to comment on the video once again thanks for watching